Hi guys and welcome to my channel. So in today's video we are going to talk about new KTM models. So it's not anymore TPI, now it's TBI. So why? Let's see some photos. So after watching these photos, have you seen the difference? So now the difference is about the injection system. It's not anymore on the cylinders, the transfer port injection. Now the injection is in the throttle body on the bottom end. So what is the benefits about this? So we are getting back on the premix. So that is good thing because the KTM TPI had like big problems with the engines because the because of the oil pump failures and that stuff. Also the oil tanks had really big problems. I seen this before on the get data system. The get data system had like one plate what was holding the injection system between the reeds and the throttle body. It was working really fine. Also on the phone you had like app for adjusting the oil mix and fuel mix. So I didn't like test that much, but I ha had like testings between the normal TPI bike and the bike with the get data system. And for me, I was feeling the get, da get data system had like more bottom end power. So in the future, the KTM like I, I'm, I don't know it's going to keep the TPI bike name or it's going to change the name to the TPI bike or B bike I don't know so the new models for the 23 and 24 are going to have this new system so I'm sure it's going to have like more bottom end power also it's going maybe to lose the top end power I don't know because the TPI's bike is really stronger than the car bike so we need to agree that so what is the benefit about the new bikes so it's not having the oil pump oil tank so you're going to use the premix so that's really important thing so with the premix you get uh, more rich mixture for the uh, like engine it's going to keep better lubrication of the moving parts like piston, piston rings and burnings down also the connecting rod is going to make the engine to last more hours on the terrain also the KTM TPI is really popular on failing on the oil pumps so I seen like ton of bikes like having the engine problems because just of the oil pump and oil tank also this year on the date of the Esbro Rodeo Graham Jarvis was in Austria testing this bike so we seen some photos but we didn't know what is going on so he did the new testing for the new bike also this year on the Red Bull Romaniacs the Graham Jarvis also the Billbolt used this technology also they used the Premix so a lot of local guys send me the photos and that stuff Hey, see the KTM, the Husqvarna bikes are using now with the Premix. It's really strange. So, but I had like photos before, but I didn't want to make it public. But now it's public, so let's see to make this video. Also, if you want to look video how the KTM make development of the KTM TPI bikes, it was a really long process. It was not that easy that video you can find on my channel so so i'm going to leave the link in my description so if you want to look how the ktm like made improvement in ktm bikes and tpi system so tpi system is really long story it's project more than 10 years long so it's not that easy to make the tpi bike 
Also on the Instagram I found a really cool profile. It's uh, on the name Hard Enduro Life. So on this like profile you can find really new pictures about the new system from the KTM and Husqvarna 23-24. So this guy is posting really nice photos about the new, the new stuff, the sp spy photos and everything. Also on his profile you can find the project about KTM 150. He used like titanium stuff to make the bike really light. So please check that profile, it's really cool. You're going to see like really cool products and stuff, what you can do for the, your bike. But let's go back on the KTM TPI models. So first, when the KTM TPI was released, I got the first bike, the first version with the first mapping. And trust me, I was not that happy with the bike because the first version of the KTM TPI was just overheating it was running lean it was not working how it needed so after like wide uh, open riding for like 10 to 15 seconds the bike had like uh, symptoms of overheat overheating the zing zing sound and after like 40 hours i opened the engine it was nightmare the piston was really used it was uh, like having like 300 towers on that piece and it was so strange and I was really angry on the KTM because they sell the not finished product to, to me so that was not that fun also that year the KTM and Husqvarna riders used the four strokes 250 and 300 350 so when the KTM TPI was released so I was knowing something is not working okay because you see the Graham Jarvis and other guys using the the four stroke model so that was really strange so it was because the TPI was not working how it needed so but now after like few years the mapping improvement and everything so now it's okay bike but with this new technology for the throttle body injection system the KTM is going to back in the nice direction is going to be again good bike with no any problems so this is going to increase the bike life more traction to the rear tire in hard extreme stuff because it's not going to be aggressive bike also it's going to make the cost down because you don't need the oil tank and the oil pump and that stuff anymore it's also going to prevent the engine from like fuel if you have like problem with the oil tank or oil pump so if you want like more news about this system please subscribe to my channel i'm going to update you soon so stay tuned